Roxanne and Len, a Canadian couple that have retired early and are out exploring the world. This week, we're in Sofia, Bulgaria, and this is an overview of all of the wonderful things that we were able to see and do. You will notice that we do not have any churches in this video. There are so many magnificent churches in Sofia that we've made a video on its own. So check out our other video on that. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Everyone, we're here in Sofia, Bulgaria. It's our first day out and exploring. We have to make a quick trip today because they're calling for rain. So our first trip will be to the Roman ruins. It's about a block away from our accommodations. So I'm excited about that. And we're gonna check out the Roman, Roman, Ru Roman ruins, which were uncovered in 2010. So you probably didn't know the Romans were here too in Bulgaria, but they were. So let's go check it out. Here we're at the archaeological exhibition of ancient Serdica, which was the city of Sofia um, from the 4th to 6th century. And all the exhibitions are enclosed in this underground museum. Roxanne is admiring the Felix mosaic, which was a mosaic floor of approximately 52 square meters on the floor of a, in a complex called the Felix house. And this is the original, I'm gonna zoom, the original mosaic tiling floor that was in this complex from the 4th century AD. The video doesn't show it, but the floor is heaved quite badly and sinking and heaved, but the mosaic, the mosaic is it. still intact, yeah. well, including it's, with it's the edging, it's just cool. The coloring is still there. It's just amazing. This is uh, 1,500 years old. And this, all of this was discovered in 2010 to 2012 when they were uh, building a new subway. So it's all been enclosed underground to protect it and it's all in this museum. It's amazing to think about all the people that walked on these streets 1400 years ago, and here I am in 2023, walking on that same road. That is my walk for me. I think it's amazing. The and history on these streets, I think it's cool. And how these stones have been worn down. They've been This is the, here I am in 2023 walking on the same road. This is your first time walking on a 1400 year old street? <laughs> yes. Yes. And we shouldn't complain about our bad roads. <laughs> and it is my first time walking on a 1400 year old street while simultaneously looking at the foundations of the buildings that are 14, 15, 1600 years old. Yeah. It's just. And what's amazing is they have sewer systems here and it's not showing up. It's on the other side of the wall. They actually have sewer pipes and water pipes dating to that period where they ran their water through um, ceramic and lead pipes. And they had in-floor heating with uh, hot air being transferred through channels in the floor. Watch Roxanne as she time travels up a flight of stairs from the ancient city of Serdica into present-day Sofia, into a place known as Independence Square, sometimes known as the, cobblest the yellow cobblestone square. 
Independence Square is an immense open area paved in yellow cobblestone brick in the center of Sofia. And it's surrounded by three large imposing buildings known as the Largo Sofia. These buildings were built in the 1950s by the Communist Party of Bulgaria, and they were built in a socialist, communist, uh, classicism, architectural style. And they were built in this style to represent on an architectural and a visual level to the people of Sofia, the place and the rule of communism in their lives and in the country of Bulgaria. The party intended the Largo to become the city's new representative center because of its architecture, human and political history, the Largo is now a very significant landmark in the city of Sofia. And the street and the plaza is all yellow brick. And the yellow brick road, if that's what you can call it, extends through the center here going both directions through the city here. This is a very impressive square area. And underneath us, we have the metro. And down below in the metro, they have excavated fourth to sixth century um, foundations of buildings and they found artifacts and we're standing right over top um, an ancient road about 1400 years old um, and right about where the cars are coming across there would be what was called Serdika's underground and that's been excavated would have been Sir, the city of Serdika's east gate leaving the city So I'm in front of what is currently now the Sofia History Museum. Um, but that's not what the building was originally. The building was originally built from 1906 to 1913 and was the Sofia Central Mineral Baths. In getting around the city, when you have a major street, you often have to go uh, underground, you go to the Metro Underground Station and you cross the street underground and come up on the other side. So if you're in Sofia, this is the way you're going to get around and across streets. Here's Len having a snack break. We've been roaming around uh, Sofia all day and he saw this thing with hot dogs and cheese and a good looking bun and had to stop for a bite and we're just sort of I don't know underground subway area or metro area and this is where he found his his snack his mid-afternoon snack it's like another city in the metro in the yeah underneath there's underground there's shops restaurants the metro there's uh, archaeological exhibits Okay, we're gonna let them finish and keep going on with our day. There's a little mouse. The pearl. Another mouse. The Lions Bridge. It was a bridge that was built in 1889 to 1891 and it was to commemorate the death of four booksellers that were hung on the eve of Sophia's liberation. So four lions for four individuals. Here we are at the Eagles Bridge which was built in 1891 by the same person 
who designed and built the Lions Bridge, which you may have seen earlier in our video. This was built in 1891 at the convergence of two major boulevards, one of which was the previous road to Rome. It, it was the road to Constantinople. Sophia was the midway point between Rome and Constantinople, which is now modern day Istanbul. So this very road that this bridge is on was an ancient route in the Roman Empire. This impressive monument is a monument to the Tsar Liberator. It's in a, mon a monument to Alexander II, the Russian Emperor, who led the War of Liberation, the Russian-Turkish War of Liberation from 1877 to 1878. And it was erected in his honor and it depicts him on horseback holding the manifesto of the declaration of the Russian-Turkish War. And on the bottom, it depicts the ancient Greek god Nike leading Russian soldiers and Bulgarian volunteers. Uh, the Greek god Nike was the god of victory. Here is the statue of Sophia that was unveiled in the year 2000, looking out over across the city. Here we are in front of the office of the president and the building of the National Assembly, which was previously uh, the Communist Party building but now in current day is the National Assembly of Bulgaria. And in front of the building, you see the Royal Guards. There's two Royal Guards on the outside and there's two on the inside. The two on the inside are guarding the national Bulgarian flag. It is massive. And it is built around In the center of this building complex, as you can see in the background, is the Rotunda of St. George. And this complex that now is where the National Assembly of Bulgaria was originally built by the Communist Party following World War II. And they intentionally built it surrounding and to hide away the country's culture and history, one of which being this fourth century uh, rotunda church that was. This is a side view of the Royal Palace. You can see it's a very beautiful building, but a little bit in disrepair. I guess pretty well since the end of the Second World War. We are here at a public water fountain and uh, 
It's a local stop here where all the locals come and fill up their water. I'll turn it here so you can see. It's a drinking fountain and it comes from hot springs. It's a uh, natural spring coming up. It's mineral water. It's supposed to have healing powers while well, hearing healing properties. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, fill a water bottle. We've been doing this for a while here. We've been, Glenn's been getting water for us. And it's hot. Yeah, it's steaming hot and yeah. that's one of the things about Bulgaria that they have very plentiful uh, water supply and um, thermal thermal springs throughout the country and it's one of their yep. great See resources. How filling their water bottles here. Come over here, I think. And uh, in, at this spot, the local residents come all the time with uh, big water bottles and fill their take home. It's pretty cool. It's a very cool it's spot. It's water. It's warm right now, but we've and been getting it and taking it home to make our coffee and drink water and stuff. It's been good. Yeah. No complaints. It's good. They test it. And uh, this is where everybody comes to get their water. Yeah. It's a whole lot cheaper than going to the store and buying a jug of water. And yeah. it's better. Better for you. Yep. Yeah. So? And the city tests it and posts their, it's not here, but they post the results of the water tests. So, and it's unique in a way because it's right next to the the thermal bath, the, the old thermal bath. The old Sophia Central mineral baths, which are just over on the other side of the street here. The water just runs nonstop. It just continuously runs. So, anyway, we thought we'd show you and we wanted to fill our water bottles. Cheers. Cheers. You're getting healthier as you drink. Yep. We are uh, wrapping up our week in Sofia and thought we would just touch base before we head on to our next spot. So what did you think of our week in Sofia? It's been really good. Busy? <laughs> our, uh, one of the nicest things about our week here was our location. Yes. Uh, we have an apartment in a high rise as you can see. We're at about on the eighth floor here. Um, but our location is just Prime. Superb. Yeah. Like we're literally blocks from a number of different sites. Uh, first day we were here, we went like two blocks and there was archaeological site. And um, So what was your favorite part of Sophia? Um, the variety of sites and things to see. And I especially like the the buildings and the architecture it's just and I've the never, ruins and the ruins the ruins yeah, like all the, over the city yeah the ancient ruins like yeah. walking down a 1400 year old street there's that, ruins that's the like first, that's just crazy that's the first time i've ever done that um and uh yeah it's just incredible it's like to see this history and uh these the history and the sites and the buildings. And what about the fountain, the water? That's really cool. That's really cool too. Um, to have just a flowing spring where you can go get your drinking water that also is said to have healing, healing properties. Yeah. properties. That's pretty cool too. Yeah. Yeah, I think there was lots of fun things, interesting things here in Sofia. Yeah. So we had a good week. Yeah. Good week. We wanted to wrap this part of our Sofia trip up. We are heading on to a new location tomorrow morning. So we've got to go pack our bags again. Yeah. It's a packing, packing night. We're going to backpack it and walk down to the bus, the bus station, station tomorrow again. morning, pop a bus to another location, location. and explore. We're staying, yeah, we're still going to stay in Bulgaria for a few more days, but we'll, we're going to try another spot and see what we think of that. 
But on that note, we're probably going to let you go. I'm just going to show you our spot here. See what's making all that noise. Now they probably won't go by. This is where we are. Look at all those yellow taxis down there. If I knew how to pronounce the name of the street we're on, I would try, but I, I don't. It is a major street though. Oh, here comes one of those. Tram. Trams, those noisy things. They go 24 seven. And here's one on this road. They go, yeah, and some are really rickety and old and make a whole lot of noise. And we get to see the sunset. Bro. Yeah, look at that sunset. I don't know if you could see it very well, but it's pretty nice up here. There's the view of the city. Good way to end our trip here. It's a good spot. Hope you guys get to Sofia if you're not. And if you have been to Sofia, tell us in the comments what's been your favorite part of Sofia. We'd like to know. Okay. On that note, we're going to say good night. Bye. Bye. We hope you enjoyed visiting Sofia as much as we did. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. And if you want to see our next video on where we're going next, you better hit the bell button. See you next time.